California in 1907 established the first hunting license for the state of California. That produced approximately $200,000 in revenue, which allowed the state to hire 70 game wardens. So in 1907, we had 70 game wardens, population of less than 2 million people. Now, 100 years later, with the population fast approaching 38 million, we have 350 game wardens positions if we're at full strength and we have about 45 vacancies. The illegal trade of wildlife worldwide is number three and the only two things ahead of it are illegal weapons, the trade in weapons, and the trade in drugs. And in California that translates to um, people poaching abalone and selling them, uh, bear gallbladders, uh, velvet antlers, uh, salmon, sturgeon, uh, striped bass, and that, that has an effect on everybody in California. With the urbanization of California, we get into more and more hardcore law enforcement, arresting felons and marijuana growers, stolen cars, stolen handguns, felony arrests, and all of that. And on top of that, we do the fish and game stuff, which is regulatory checks of hunters and fishermen for compliance to make sure that they're properly licensed, that they're not taking more than a legal limit, that they're using proper gear, all those types of things. We investigate pollution, we investigate animal depredation calls, lions and bears causing property damage. Being a game warden is a very varied occupation. I mean, you you do you do everything. California's got a huge increase of population in a short period of time, and our warden force has not kept up with that, that population. Currently we have about 204 game wardens. Realistically, we would need a thousand to, to do our job, and, and 3,000 people wouldn't be too many. In the next three years, 40% of the California warden force is gonna be eligible to retire. That means that we're gonna have to hire in the next three years, approximately 120 game wardens just to maintain the status quo. We can't hire 15 people this year because we don't have enough applications. We hired 10 people last year who made it through the academy. Four of those people quit, 40% quit within the first six months and said, we're not doing this job. It's too dangerous for the money that you're paying.